They sure ain't trying to bite these worms. Not at all. I can't get a dag blasted one of them. Oh, well, uh -oh. We, we got one that time. Yeah, probably a crappie. It's the fight of my life right here. Oh, it's a good bluegill right there. That's a good one. That's what I'm after right there. Have you been catching anything off your uh, trot line? I, I went. I didn't put a trot line out last weekend because it's just about getting too warm because all them catfish fixing spawn. So I went down to Scott City and caught an 18 and a half pounder on a rod and reel. Oh, did you? Yeah. All right, he was right on the bank. So let's see if we can do that again. I'll probably throw it. Ah. Uh, well, he took it under. <laughs> My hook really is too big. But I don't like I said I'm on a time crunch and I didn't have time to change it. Sorry, right, I'll give this about 15 more minutes and if I can't catch enough 15 minutes I'll throw that net a time or two and I'll have enough. I just want to do it the old fashioned way. Oh. I believe I got another one. Get up here. And I'll, I'll scale them and fry them with bone and all that when they taste the best. But when you're in the house, I don't play the best. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's four. I need eight more. It ain't costing me but about four worms to get one, so I'll be out of worms before I ever get a dozen bluegill. That's all right. Yeah, I do. I, I'm from Texas. Ah, and that's how we catch our bait in Texas. Oh, I bet so, yeah. Get over there and get me one. There you go. It did, too. Right on that, they're on that bank is what it is. They're getting ready to spawn. Oh, yeah. I've been riding around there seeing if they're making any dinner. Get over here, you. Boy, he's a good one. Get up here. He fell off right there. No, you don't. <laughs> oh, that's a good one right there. All right, now I know what the tactic is. I don't search them out. They're right on the bank. I'm going to slay every one of them in here with this next worm. I'm going to catch another one on the same worm. <laughs> Look at that. I'm going to throw it up on the bank, tangle it up, and break it. Then get it close enough. Boy, I hooked him up though, didn't I? Boy, he's peeling drag, y'all. That might be a crappie. Boy, that's a fighter there. Boy, that's another big old bluegill. I know where they're at. I'm gonna catch another one on this one. Look at that. Well, he knocked all my worm off there. I better just stop wasting time and put a fish up with my sons up in Minnesota. They use worm, a lot of uh, leeches. Really? Oh, I, I ain't never heard of that. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of catch walleye. Leeches. Yep. All right, let me see if I can do that again. I'll tell you, I, I, this guy I go with, he worked for my son. I got him and I didn't mean to. I'm tangled up. <laughs> I mean, I'm in a mess right now and still got a fish on somehow. Oh, that's a good one. Get up here. 
We talk about an accidental catch. You were right about the wind blowing them over here. Cause I sat over there for about 20 minutes and caught them. You come down the hill and I was listening to the Cardinal game and I wanted to see what was going to happen when they lost it in the bottom of the tent. They lost in the bottom of the tent. Look at that. I'm telling you, they're right over. They're yeah, they're right up on the bank on that bed. Now, this is how I pictured catching them. That's another good one. There's six right there. Look at that. He didn't want to stay in there. He knows what's in store for him. We went out. Well, it's about evening time. Right before the mosquitoes come out. I ain't kidding you. Those things were that 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 wide, that that, that wide across the back. I mean, God. You had to take two hands to get them off the off the hook. I thought, well, these son of a gun were freaks of nature, the bluegill. For real. Why well, didn't need about four of them, and I'd be good. Yeah. Got a bad throw right there, and I knew when I I knew when it landed, it wasn't gonna catch nothing. Right. That one ain't far enough either, but maybe we'll get lucky. We got him. He wasn't quite close enough. The bobber wasn't quite as close as the bank as I wanted it, but it still did the job. There's seven. Catfish bait? No, tomorrow. Yeah. Try to catch a big old flathead catfish. I'll probably eat some of them, probably fillet them and eat, eat some of them. I got us another one. Yeah. Well, he's a fighter. Get up here before you get off. That's eight. See, that's an eating size one right there. Yeah, that's an eating size, yeah. Dang it. Swallowed. He swallowed the dang hook. And he broke me off. You need a hook? Nah, I'm almost out of time. If I can get this one back out of here real quick. He didn't want to stay in there, did he? Do you have a watch on you, sir? Yeah. What time you got? It's, uh, seven minutes after four. Seven minutes after four. Oh, I'm still on good time then. All right. All right, we're back in bit. Holly broke. <laughs> I said we were back in business. We will be when I just tie this in a regular knot. I ain't putting dang fisherman's knot on it. I ain't got time for that. We're just going to tie a knot on here and go. All right. Now we're back in business. Till I hook a big old crappie and he breaks it off. <laughs> or a big old five pound bass. Alright. Let's see if we can get another one. Well, that didn't work out so good. Two 
too much moss on there. Yeah. I threw it right in the moss. Boy, I hate that old moss. Uh, that's another bad throw. So we can get back on that edge again. Now we got him. As long as he didn't swallow the hook. <laughs> All right, get in there. He's trying to jump out too. I got nine now. Was that nine? Uh, no, I, I pour concrete. Far over. That's all right, we'll be casting. Well, that one bite and he got all that worm. Get over there. Ah. Yep. Well, I thought he was on there. Got it. I was just hoping I had enough worm on there because when I threw it, I knew there wasn't <laughs> just a lot. I saw, I was like, oh, there ain't but a little piece of worm on there. Come here. Get up here. That's a red ear sunfish. Ten? Yep. Two more, we'll call it success. <laughs> well, I love to be fishing right now, but I don't want to catch, catch it because what I catch, I'll keep playing. <laughs> <laughs> Too much work, huh? Not really, but I'll just move right now. Well, that's a good spot for a Fresh worm. I can't believe that bobber ain't going there already. Wind blew me that time. It's okay, we got him. We got him anyway. Oh, he got off. Right there. That's gotta be this. He got off. Well, that was a good. That was a good spot. Ah, Lee. They done figured me out now. I figured them out and they figured me out. Well, well there's one right there. Look at them. Jeez.
Oh, I don't need but two more. I ain't got but one more worm, I think. <laughs> That's all right. If I, I'll go with what I got if I have to. Let me get one more right here. That's crazy. Well, my streak of luck may be over. And may, it may not be. <laughs> oh, look at this thing. Ooh, good Lord, that scared me. Whew. Stay away from me, Mr. Snake. I need one more fish and you can have every fish in this pond. <laughs> Don't come over here. Come over here, you're gonna get a boot upside your head. up in that grass scaring me <laughs> I'll get one more I'm getting out of here right there come on now there he is he's, a, he's another good one too get over here don't get off get up here Hmm. Well, he swallowed the hook. Oh, no, he didn't. He fell off the hook. That's it. That's a wrap. <laughs> yeah, there you go, y'all. That's a wrap. There's 12 of them. It took us about 40 minutes, but we got 12 of them. Now we're going to get ready for catch a big fish. Y'all stay tuned for the action.